Have you or your loved one had an experience of pain or need that was so great that you or they were willing to risk it all to get help? I have. In my life, there was a period of time when I was sick for a very long time, several years, and I became so desperate to get help and find the right doctor, I was willing to risk it all. And in doing that, I eventually found the right doctor to get well. But I clearly remember that point that I am willing to risk everything to get the help of what I need. That is one perspective we hear in today's gospel, as well as the challenge that Jesus experiences to widen the perspective in service of love. This gospel today continues from Matthew chapter 15, where Jesus really has this um, uh, service of going off alone to pray and then going out to serve. We hear that in a couple of gospels. We also hear that today. Jesus withdraws to the district of Tyre and Sidon. And that's all we know. But we don't know why. So here's a map of the time of the landscape at the time of Jesus, Palestine in the first century, Jesus was preaching in the Galilee region. His mission was to head to Jerusalem, which was down here. However, he withdraws to the north. Tyre and Sidon are up here. We don't know why. It wasn't his territory of service. It wasn't where he was supposed to go. We don't know. But in that, he encounters a woman, a Canaanite woman. So it's like, Surprise, it's a woman and it's somebody that's not of his culture and not, you know, Canaanites, Samaritans, Palestinians, Jewish people. They don't, you know, it's like, no, it, it, uh, it wasn't part of his tribe. And so this woman says, son of David, have pity on me. My daughter is troubled and needs help. And Jesus keeps walking as if to dismiss her. He gave no word or response. And his disciples said, hey, get rid of her. She keeps nagging us. She keeps shouting after us. And Jesus makes a comment that seems a little abrupt. And he says, my mission is only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Jesus has a clear focus of what his mission is. And this woman challenges him. You know, she's using a metaphor. She says, even the dogs eat the scraps from the table. And she says, please, and she keeps pleading, please help my daughter. Finally, Jesus sees her and her need. And he says, woman, you have great faith. Your wish shall come to pass. And with that, her daughter got well. A woman, a Canaanite, she was alone, an outcast outside the community of Jesus's mission and she challenges him and he learns the historical Jesus to widen his perspective to serve in love and her daughter is healed of her trouble this gospel today challenges us as disciples in two ways it means being willing to risk it all to love and serve. And also it means to widen our perspective and vision of what it means to serve and welcome and love everyone. It's that both and relationship that Jesus is modeling in his life of preaching and of service and of withdrawing for time alone to recharge, to pray, that both and relationship. So this week, who or what is challenging us to widen our vision of love as disciples? And then where in our lives are we willing to risk it all to be better, to be healed, to be made well, to be made whole, or to risk it all to help others in need? In today's gospel, the woman was, had a clear vision of what she wanted, a clear purpose and desire of her heart. And Jesus saw that faith and courage within her. This week, let us be clear in what we want. What is the desire of our heart? 
and be willing to risk it all to love and widen our perspective in service of all people, all God's people in love and compassion and service. Amen.